I run this town now. Me!
Tommy, son, have I got a surprise for you? I'm down at recording studios with some major artists. Why don't you pass a visit? You know it makes sense, don't ya? See you later. Look at this stupid local yumper. Oye, socio, que vola. Tommy, remember me? Hello, Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. You never write me, you never call. Don't you want to be friends no more? I've been busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons. Busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy, because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. Give me a break. Oh, we got a redact. Hey, Mario. <laughs> Livelihood destroyed. Arsetti, remember the name. Door. 
my wonderful store. What are you thinking? I run this town now. Me. Yo, you didn't mean that, right? Ooh. Howdy, son. Just thought I'd ring you up and give you some advice. Hey, Avery, what's eating you? There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. Catch my drift. I reckon so. All I'm saying is keep your eyes open and you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. And what are you looking at? Get to the payphone at the airport terminal. Attention 
Give me a break. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Mario, take it easy. Get in the car, useless. Protection needs Dude. a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate out of DBP security around the block. You guys just sort it out amongst yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't get in my way. Oh, you have a lot in common. I noticed there was one thing missing from this great town.
Texans had the Alamo, and I am building a highly fortified structure in my image. Simple. This 50-story statue will be able to deflect alpha, gamma, and beta radiation. The day is coming, and coming soon, where the artificial suns will rain down to punish the degenerates of this city. But you can save your son. I am an officer of the law. Stop! children born out of wedlock to a future of hopelessness. Anyone who does not agree with me is mentally sick and should be shot, I'm afraid to say. We need to build a place to escape these transgressions. Woo! <laughs> That's extreme stuff, Master. But we'll need amateur eugenics for a minute and ask our other panelists. Then, you know, so you know everything. What is your thought on all this? And do you think Pastor Richards stole his ideas from the movie or book? Well, yes, I am. Oh, my my kids are very special. So special, they go to special classes. <laughs> I teach my kids history to give them perspective. Last night I was telling them about how Magellan sailed around the Strait of Magellan and met some friendly natives that gave him supplies. Um, then he had to kill all of them. And that's an important lesson about life. If you look at nature, you'll see many species that eat their children to protect them. Th this is especially true of monsters. It's about putting the family first. That's really important hey! to me, and where a lot of my morality comes from. And if you don't like it, find your own husband and stay away from mine, okay? Okay, but, and excuse me if I sound a little confused here, but I don't think I understand. Now, my morality comes from looking at history and biology and working out what's best for my kids and screw anyone else. That's what this country's all about. I mean, I mean, I saw the hippies. What a load of claptrap. But what's your kid going to do at a school with a name like Moonbeam or Wave or Horseradish or whatever they call them? How can you take your kid to a Little League game when you live in a communal farm growing drugs? It's awful. And that's what my life is about. Looking down on others. Yes, I think I can see that now. Moving on. Pastor Richard, in your book, you talk about putting yourself first and how people should not make sacrifices or help those in need. Do you want to elaborate? Oh, that's right. People need to learn how to take care of themselves and not depend on... Tommy, we gotta talk about stuff. What's the problem, Lance? It's you, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me in front of the boys. I can't have that. Lance, it ain't like that. You've been making mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay into me anytime. Tommy, I've done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off. Okay? I'll talk to you. Time to fly bigger fish, Mr. Teal. There's a rifle and the foliage to your right. Watch the woman standing on the balcony above the check-in desk. She will walk through the crowd and ask someone the time. 
must kill that person. Retrieve the case and take it to the location taped under the phone. I got the real nitty gritty.
your car. You better tell him, Mario. Where we going now, boss? what this means we could all be so and the timer must have got screwed that place was wired to go up like a firework factory and somebody tipped off the cops but everything what's the problem apart. fellas mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall but he screwed the fuses and now uh, the cops are crawling all over it we gotta get our stuff and get out of here relax both of you let me think for a second tommy versetti just doesn't cut and run the cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine tooth comb right but that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but no one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a lockup, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Okay, Lance, let's get the cops' attention. Ring.
got some really irritating. This was a big to do. Tommy, man, you're gonna love this. You moron! That woman. Okay, Lance, let's get the cops' attention. Hey, Mario. Your husband is doing the same right now with his secretary. No, we worked through it. He was stressed. Okay, go on. Family together, these days. Everyone, take your clothes off and feel what it's like to be free of bondage. Everyone out there in Vice City, take your clothes off. If this is the land of the free, let's start with our pads. Feel the wind from the air conditioning. Oh, a breeze is so liberating. Thanks very much. Now, if you could get back behind that divider, please. Otherwise, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Thank you. And now, sit down. Please. On pressing issues, we think it is very important to respond to to treat each other like we would like to be treated. I want a hug. If you don't like the United States, son, now that got them really irritated. Today, they call this a cold war, but it's hot to hell. Mark my words, and it ain't. in space, but there is a limited amount of space. That's why I suggest anyone who wants the safety and security of your own bunker, give now. Call 866-9-SAVE-ME. Okay. 
Drives this bad. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge, nice badge. Real smooth, Lance. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We got to get the hell out of here! Salvation statue as we blast into space. 
contribute to the Pastor Richard Salvation statue. Pick up your telephone. Tell him, Mario. Tommy, glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Love Fist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and Willie's in the cars here, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Leave it up, Jez, you remember. Fist, Don't be playing them games with me, Jesus. mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English prick. Good See, one in America. The, the thing is, Tom, mental. the boys totally need some help. They ain't too connected here. They don't have the old totally hands, you far We hands. need some drugs, pal! Gotta get on the old <laughs> love yeah, fish, yeah, nice beauty, one, yeah. you know? Yeah! Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice men, can? Love juice? Aye, two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, it really mean a lot you to You can the do boys. that for the boys, right? fascinating pamphlet called Caucasian Female Body Hair in American Culture. Amy, 
I love you like my sister, but honey, you've fallen prey to a sustained marketing assault. Looking for something special? I got what you need. Thanks for the money, sucker. There's nothing more natural than this enormous bush I've got growing under each arm. Having hair is natural. What's the deal with Anglo-Saxons? I mean, go to England. The women will don't shave their underarms. It's really Just the girl. Mercedes? Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? Just fine. Listen, you fancy having love fist? Okay. But just as a favor, I expect return. See you later, big boy. A coracle is a single-person rowing boat made of reeds and twigs from ancient Britain. There are so many wonderful... Tommy, man, am I glad to see you. What's going on? Bad vibes, Tommy. I am knee joking again. It is heavy stuff, man. Heavy gang. This cat, we hardly know him, but he knows us. Why, this cat knows all about us. Knows that Willie likes his ladies' underwear, eh? Or that Percy likes Durand Shut up, you Durand. fool. Just because eh? Jess bought him yes. sheep. It's a love rocket thing, can? <laughs> Shut yeah, up. Yeah, a love rocket <laughs> thing, right? But listen, this cat. Yeah, yeah, the guy wants Love Fist dead. Dead, Tommy. Love Fist, gone. You know what they say, the good die young, but Tommy, you've got to save love We've fist. We've got a signing in two hours, and I think... Yeah, and, and the boys think the stalker's going to try some monkey business there.
It's a little sand. I'll see Luffish burn. Luffish ruined my life. It's just a stage and also a beginning of a new journey. Do you have a leader in this weirdo cult of yours? Not a cult, a cousin. There's a big difference. Yes, the leader's name is Phil. That's a weird name for a leader of a group of witches. Oh, hi, Phil. What hairy legs you got? What with being a man who's a witch and everything? <laughs> Do not disrespect Phil. He teaches us. Fancy clothes, let's see what you can do. Thank <laughs> you. 
you again. Hey, Rossetti. Cougar says you can handle a bike pretty good. Yeah, how many more errands am I gonna have to run? I'm a very busy man. If it's a fight that's gonna sell this, then bring it on. Being one of us ain't just about brawling. It's about being part of a family. Yeah, I've been part of a family before, all right? It didn't work out. Yeah, all right, but this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right. I've done my homework. This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. I was locked up during non-ugly business. Which is why I'm gonna ask you to go mess with the man. This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. You see, this is public radio, and every once in a while we need to appeal for money, or cut away when people start brandishing guns in the studio. What the hell are you doing? Uh, please, don't kill me! I hope you were enjoying pressing issues. I certainly was. Yes, it's almost as interesting as looking.
It ain't badass for SETI. Now I want to see how good you can fight for your patch. The local street gang made the mistake of stealing my hog. Probably because of some machismo thing or something. Me and the boys would go over there and teach them a lesson in respect and all. Anyways, then I got to thinking. This would make a good initiation for you. You get my bike back, you can tell Paul he's got his security.
Hey, it's Mitch. You did good, Tommy. It's good to have the old girl back. You tell Kent Paul, he'll get his security for the gig. You have my word on that. Now keep yourself out of trouble. Man, that say goes back. What's going on? That psycho won't leave Love Fist alone. You didn't they kill him, man, and now he's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, the thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, cause that nutter keeps making threats. Hey, Michelle, man, I need my mom. We're all breaking ourselves, man. Okay, guys, calm down. I'll handle this. Normally, I wouldn't busy myself with driving around a bunch of drunken Scottish bisexuals, but in your case, I'll make an exception. Man, time for a well earned drink. Are you finished? Just a hundred yards to the road, then? Better make it a large one, then. Hey, Tommy, change the tunes, man. I get all confused if my head's not banging. Ah, oh, look, what's this? Hey, Tommy, stick this tape on. No fist. Your time polluting the airwaves is over. I gave you the chance to be friends. Well, now I'm giving you the chance to die. You try and slow down, your limousine will explode along with your big airy asses. Tommy, pal, you've got to save the band. I'm getting bored of this. Just keep the pedal to the metal. We've got to find it, Bob. Can't we just drive around all day? I would get plenty to drink. The bomb may be in the engine. We need to stop to get. We're all going to die. I'm going to get pissed. Hey, there's a queue here, pal. Hey, man, Angel's near the drinks cabinet. Get out of my way. Hey, the vodka bottle's got wires coming out here. That's no vodka. That's boomshine. Ah! You always said the drink would kill me! I've seen this on the telly. You gotta pull out one of the wires. Which wire? I don't know, man. I don't have a clue. Willie, she's showing. I'm gonna play bass in hell. Tommy, man, keep driving fastball. Somebody do something. I clever. Somebody do something? What kind of crap is that? I've seen braver crimes. Okay, tough guy, you do something. Look, man, I play a musical instrument. I got a clue about bomb disposal. Well, he could just suck the boom shine out with a straw. I have heard that you're good at that kind of thing. Uh, hey, I was off my tits that night as well, you know. Just pass Willie a straw. I a straw? This is a love fist to a bus. How am I gonna get a straw fake if I mean? Which wire, Tommy? The green one. There isn't a green one. Oh, 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 is this a green one? Any of these wires look green to you? Oh, net and death in the car, so he looks green! I should have dumped you up when I had the chance, man. Glory seeker. Capitalist! I've been carrying you for years. Shut up, you muppet! Big screaming girl. Aye, shut it and pull a wire. Which wire? This one! No! Man, we're okay. We ain't been blown up. Tommy, man, nice one. Rock and roll, man. And we got a gig to go to. A racket to make groupies to abuse. Oh, oh fist. fist! Oh, fist! Oh, fist! Have you finished with our ball? DJ Hard Rocker. I saw some dead puppies once. Uh, I've noticed you have a lot of 
negative thinking. Why the golf lifestyle? Well, some say life is a two-party design. Also, when you only wear black, everything matches. In fact, I'll keep wearing black until something... Yeah. It's Baker. Just wanted to say I really enjoyed the show. Me and the boys want to thank you and remind you, you got our respect. Good day. Keep riding hard, son. with switchblades. That is action. I'm a performer. I express myself anywhere I can, while I'd never attempt to describe to just the five of us or anything other than worship the I need to support my serious art. It's like stealing a boombox to do box. I told myself, Mario, take it easy. I got those clothes you wanted. You know I've been loyal.
My time. The best artists are ignored. I mean, surely any right-minded person would rather spend an evening watching the express the moon and space as they move delicately into the stage in the dance of desire and denigration and flopping around in the dance of the world. Action. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Hey, baby, fishing are... poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go! Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy. That's why. What is this? This is my art. Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, um... But first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you, wow. What's that guy think this is, some free art crap? Geez, like anyone ever watch movies about fish? Nine Shady, the Leo and Furax. Accidents happen, and we'll prove it. Candy, I'm looking for movie talent. You interested? Sure, but you'd have to talk to my agent. The hell are you doing? You should have stayed at home today. Can you believe this asshole? Damn, buddy, you look a hot dish. Hey, Shabam, thank you. Hey, Shabam. Oh, you 
Van Drift. I get slammed by... Mercedes. Hey, Tommy. You want a party? Not now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. <laughs> You're hired. Get in. Stop. 
Tommy. You coming in for a warm up? Maybe later, babe. Well, maybe. I am a Viking, and a Viking that will not only help you unleash the Furies, but unleash yourself. It's my Thor's horsepower trophy. Whoa! Cool shark. Sonny. Obviously you are suffering from hearing problems, so I'll try again. Where's the goddamn money? Where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gut? Are you new action? You are making an idiot out of me, Tommy, and I'm not laughing yet. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras Pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? You get those flyers printed up? Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. Then you drag the carcass back to camp and celebrate by eating its heart. Some people, they only do this once in a lifetime. I do this every day, and so can you. All it takes is some positive thinking. Just attend by Unleash the Norse Within Weekend. When you are finished, you will say, I am a god. Nobody can stop me. I crush my enemies and dance on their funeral pyres. Destroy all the creatures and sell plastic versions of them. It 
did a fine job pillaging these lands, but he should have done something about Canada. Wait a minute there, Buster. My mother's half Canadian. Oh, what are you going to do, Wedge? Sweep the ice furiously at me? Huh, socialized medicine? Nah, you did it all wrong. You should have continued to the north and finished things off. I talk about this in the motivational learning tapes. That and beware the magpie. This is the devil. Evil reigneth when darkness falls. Are you married? You seem like a tough character to live with. Hi, you wife Helga. What a hag. This show is not sexist, whatever certain bearded women might say. Women are people too. I'd appreciate if you wouldn't talk that way. Ah, go live in a chimney, you troll. You 20th century women are all the same. And me hag Helga, she felt prettier up anyways. She says to me, Thor, I ain't having no meat no more. I'm going to meetings. See, that's your problem. As soon as you sort something out, you have to go preaching from the rooftops to everyone else. Don't live, not pillage or thunder no more, but live in boxes. And she says, Lord, I'm getting my stomach stable. I look fat, and now it is two yak skins. Where previously it was only one. I say, wench, don't come crying to me when we're in a long boat crossing the straits for two moons. When you're all skin and bones, a man needs something to grab onto. I ain't her fault. A cursed pixie goblin got her. Pixie goblin? What kind of weird ancient nonsense are you talking about? Now, Thor, I've got to ask you, how old are you? I am as old as a fjord, as young as a newborn lamb. Are you shy about your age? Do talk about it like my mom. Thor is never shy. Thor is mighty. Thor is a god. And where are you from? From the beginning of the planet, where the sun meets the sky. Oh, right. By the beach. Great. Let's take a commercial break. We'll be right back with Thor. He's a real Viking. Okay, what's the problem now? Shh. After his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this. Just keep going, keep going. You mentioned something about some legal problem on the phone. Congressman Alex Shrub has jumped on the pre-election bandwagon. He's going after the Puritan vote. Rumors are he's going to support measures to restrict, shall we say, the more fleshy oh, yeah. aspects of this nation's mm -hmm. great entertainment oh, yeah. industry. Okay, all right.
she talking to? Anyway, you're probably not so after the show. I'll lead you to their new love nest. You got a camera? Yeah. Give him a camera. Oh. Fernando is on the radio. That is my good boy city. We just want to make a quick break. This is the Washington stuff. I mean, Martha, what if 